Hi, I'm Roxanne Gould. Welcome back. If you're new to my channel and this is your first time watching, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Today's topic is hair care for gray hair. I've made my career these days as a classic model because of my gray hair. It's now a trend. A lot of women are choosing to go gray. I've had a lot of experience with working with professional hairdressers and I've had hair campaigns um, in Europe and in America promoting care for gray hair and I've had a lot of exposure to tricks that work to keep it conditioned and keep it healthy and keep it growing so I wanted to share some of those tips with you and some of these tips will help even if you don't have gray hair and during this time where we are at home a lot it's a good opportunity to possibly let your gray hair grow in. If you see some of it grow in now and you get scared, don't be scared. I was actually talking to my girlfriend today and she didn't realize how wonderful it is to ditch the dye. She has made her transition and her hair is beautiful. And she said she just never had any idea how wonderful it was. If you're at home watching this and considering going gray, I'd recommend it. You save yourself a lot of time save yourself a lot of money and I think you will like the color. Nature has a way of making your own gray soften your skin and bring out your eye color. Gray hair comes at different times in our life depending on your genetics. You can get it earlier or later but if you're going to get it you're going to get it. I think what you can do to help um, perhaps not get it in as fully is to take supplements because all gray hair is is a lack of melanin and I've tried several different companies and for my genetic makeup I found one that really works with supplementing my hair even though it's gray already and I have a full head of hair that's gray and I'm not trying to keep it from not coming in too thick these supplements have helped it grow and have helped the condition of the hair and since I've been taking these supplements by Nutrafol, I'll put the link below, I have never had such long hair in my life. Look at this. Look at this hair. It keeps going. It keeps going. It keeps going. Look at it. keeps going. It is down to my belly button. I've never had hair that long and I know it's because of these supplements that have really agreed with me and what's wonderful about these supplements that have a lot of minerals and B vitamins, D vitamins, C vitamins, they also help with stress. So the company has a quiz you can take online to see which products that work the best for your particular situation. So it'd be, it'd be fun, if nothing else, just take the test to see which products they think would be great for your hair. Gray hair has a different texture. The, the follicles have a different makeup, a different structure than uh, different colored hair. So gray hair can tend to be um, lacking in moisture and a little coarser, a little more frizzy and Therefore, it's important to give your gray hair uh, moisture treatments. One that I like is by Oribe. I love the smell. Uh, I love uh, how easy it is because you leave it in for as long as you like. And it's easy to wash out and it smells really nice. Another one is by Kerastas. I use Kerastas hair products, um, the shampoo and the, the conditioner, as well as the treatment pack. And I find that sometimes um, caring for gray hair, um, let me backtrack, you, gray hair can turn yellow through oxidation and through just the environment, like cigarette smoke, believe it or not, can turn your hair yellow. Just like it can turn the fingertips from this, when you're holding a cigarette, turn your fingers and your skin yellow, can turn your hair yellow. Different elements in the environment can turn your hair yellow. Um, heating products, he heating tools can also damage your hair uh, by overheating it and change the color. Hair styling products can change the color of your hair and make it more yellow, which is okay to use if you wash it out that day. Leaving in those styling products can change the color of your hair. So that's why we um, have available to us those, those shampoos that are purple to help tone the yellow down. When you have a color wheel and you have that slice of purple on this side, the opposite side is yellow. So you want to find the balance between the two. That's why the purple helps cancel the yellow. They're opposites on the uh, color wheel. And uh, I find that 
using too much of that purple shampoo can turn the yellow pieces, uh, maybe the right color you want, a nice white, but then it can turn the hair that's already white, sometimes a little purple. And I've had that happen to me when I religiously used the shampoo thinking I was going to get rid of all my yellow. Well, that was the learning curve that I immediately learned once and for all. So I'm passing that tip on to you that if you use the purple shampoo, every time you shampoo, it will turn your hair a light lavender or blue or, or purple. So caution to that. I do not use it every time that I wash my hair. So I, I mix it up between the regular shampoo and conditioner and the purple shampoo and conditioner. The treatment, the hair pack is for purple hair because like I said gray hair is drier and it needs a lot more conditioners so I think that these products made specifically for gray hair have a, a thicker conditioning element to them than the regular hair treatment masks another great treatment for hair to bring it moisture is also coconut oil or almond oil or olive oil the only thing is that they are a little bit tricky to get out of your hair completely I like that you can leave them in as long as you want and not worry about turning your hair a different color like you can with purple masks. But they are a little hard to wash out. But if you like the pure product, uh, the oils are wonderful to leave in. Very conditioning for the scalp as well if you have any dandruff conditions your skin. Yeah, I, I typically um, like a leave-in conditioner that I wear every day because I, I find that it um, is important to keep the hair from getting too brittle. So I use the Olaplex number six and the oil by Olaplex number seven. The oil is wonderful on the tips of my hair, which are the driest part. And then this, I just put from here down. I never put it on the scalp because I don't want it to, to mat the hair down. So six for the middle part and number seven, the oil by Olaplex just for the tips. The other product that I like, because I said earlier, you know, the hair can be frizzy, gray hair can be a little coarse. The Pomade by Viore by also has this beautiful silver tint to it. So when you put it in your hair, it just makes the hair, you just, just need a little bit. And you know, for like these guys, let's say these are really frizzy. You just put a little bit on and it makes the hair smooth and it gives your hair a really nice silver sheen. So again, I'll put that link below. I really like that product. It helps tame those flyaways too, like up here at the part, the broken hairs, tames them down. Something I see women do a lot, no matter their hair color, is how they brush their hair. Many of them start from the top to the bottom. By the way, this one I like, it treats my hair really well, this thick tooth comb. Well, to treat your hair really gently, even though it feels coarser, I use the thick comb and I start at the bottom, combing out my hair. And I gradually go higher and I work out the tangles little by little. And I work my way up and then eventually I get to the top of my scalp and brush comb all the way down. And it eliminates breakage and I do not have split ends. So start at the bottom work your way up with a thick combed, thick tooth comb. So those are the main points. Very simple. Uh, products do make a difference with your hair and how you treat it. Oh. So one more treatment is to have a silk pillowcase to sleep on that eliminates breakage, that helps keep your hair from drying out, and you're treating your hair nice. That's what you want to do. You want to you want to pamper it. And when I go out, sometimes I'll put it in a braid so that the the wind doesn't you know make it get all tangled or dry it out even more from the wind. So I protect it. You know, I'll just make a quick braid when I go out, and protects my hair even more. So I don't have to overbrush it, overcomb it, expose it too much to the drying elements. So I wear a hat as well. Also helps my skin. But another reason is to protect the hair. And I think that's all I have for simple, basic tips uh, how to care for your gray hair. And I hope that will help. Uh, let me know what you think. They're very simple, really easy to incorporate into your routine. 
and um, yeah, I love you very much and God bless you. Bye for now.